So right before you are about to hit your stage and you are all full prepared and you are going to rock the crowd with your awesome resolume set. We always had some douche in the name of client or band or maybe both walking into us with a huge ass 4K footage and they want us, the VJs, to play this video with their performance. How do we do that? So grab your coffee or whatever your thing is because in this video, we are gonna take full opportunity of the amazing player called VLC Media Player and take that VLC Media Player inside Resolume and do all crazy things that we can do to any video. Let's do it. So before we dive in, let's understand why do we need another external video software to play videos inside Resolume. Resolume itself is a very powerful video playback system, but it comes with price. So, maybe your file duration is long, you have a long video. If you try to convert that into DXV file, just check out how big that is. Far as my calculation, DXV is a uh, plus minus 500 MB for per 20 seconds if you are working with full HD. So, it's gonna be a huge as file if your video length is longer, say any movie or any TV series or any sports maybe. Sometimes some films are very awesome, great quality if you wait long. Let's say this is 2023. If we try to get, we might get a very good Blu-ray quality film of uh, Avatar, of course Matrix maybe. So if we manage to have a very good quality film, 4K, 2K or a very good quality Blu-ray, playing those Blu-ray files in Resolume is hectic. And then there is a challenge of file format. Say some band walks up at you with MPG format. I don't know anyone other than Windows Media Player plays that, but I'm sure VLC does. And the fifth reason why we might need VLC Media Player to play our Resolume show, because it's easier to have a secondary user who could play the VLC Media Player. I know it might sound funny, but there are certain times and moments that clients feel comfortable when they can play or pause the moment with their hand. So there is a great opportunity if you have a VLC media player plugged into your Resolume, you can give it to your client and make him a part of the immersive show. If you don't know about VLC media player, it's free so let's just shut up and download it. So first, we're gonna learn how to play VLC media playback inside Resolume in one computer. In the later part of this video, we're gonna use two computers to do that. But before that, hit a like, maybe subscribe as well. To take VLC media player output as an input inside Resolume, we're gonna use this protocol called NDI. So NDI is a network-based data or video streaming protocol by Newtek, which is now known as Wizard. So it's free, you can do hundreds of cool things with it. So we're gonna do one today. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to do more NDI tricks soon. So now we are gonna download NDI tools. But before we dive into our next section, here's a shout from our today's sponsor, me. If you haven't checked the community tab of this channel, I currently provide one-to-one -one therapy session for VJs where I try to troubleshoot you as a VJ or your team or your business. Small to advanced VJ tips for your event or your production. Resolume, SketchUp, Adobe Suite, making custom contents, making your customized MIDI mapping and these all. So I'm gonna use a link in the description below if you wanna join and take this VJ therapy. So let's start with running VLC Media Player. So before we even start playing any video, let's go to Tools preferences let's look for this tab called video let's look for output and this one is automatic now so we have our NDA installs let's change the output from here to NDA video output let's save and let's restart our VLC so we have our VLC media pair for this demonstration let's drop a very good quality matrix i think it's very good quality i think this one is 19 gb file mkv file and the resolution is doesn't show here i think it's 4k so this would have been very hard to play directly from resolume so let's drop this on vlc media player Let's play it. 
note that you are not going to see anything from here because whatever our video is playing it's sending it straight to NDA. So right now we can find this movie played on the network stream from any other computer connected on the same internet with the NDA tools installed. Now let's check out what we are sending out from VLC into the NDI. To do that we are going to use studio monitor from NDI. Let's open studio monitor. So this one is our studio monitor here. I'm going to right click. This is my laptop's NDI which is Zen. And this VLC is sending something. Let's select that. Whoa, we have our movie here. So NDI gives us more functions we can see here. These are PTZ controller. If we add a PTZ camera, we could just rotate it from here. This is also giving us some preset numbers. We're going to check them out later. For now, let's keep playing the film. Note that whatever the control of the film playback we have, it's all in VLC. So, so if we want to pause it, we got to pause the VLC. If you want to forward somewhere, that's also in VLC. So everything is done by VLC. Note that this is giving a latency here, but in Resolume we are going to get minimum latency. But there's going to be latency. So let's close down our studio monitor. Let's run Resolume. So in Resolume, let's change the composition size to something larger, maybe something 4K. Let's check out our sources. Let's hit NDI servers. And here we can see our NDI source here called SZZen VLC. This one, let's drag and drop it here. And we have our film playing here. Let's open the VLC media player and try to play it. So as said before, all the control and playback system stays inside VLC. And audio is also connected to your VLC. So let's look out for a cool frame to take a thumbnail. We have our super duper awesome Neo here. Let's store him as a thumbnail. So I made this thumbnail using Control Shift and T. So this is a thumbnail. So now, as I told you,